Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm providing a course preview of my five time sucks and how to overcome them workshop that I've done for various groups and events. If you are interested in me speaking to your event or organization on this or any other topic, feel free to schedule a 45 minute free initial consult with me. My Calendly link is here and I will also throw it in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this short preview. Now here are our learning objectives for this session. I will actually start with helping everyone identify and understand the true nature of the problem before we dive into each of the five areas listed. I will then wrap everything up by sharing what I feel is the one key consideration that each of you need to consider as you start to address your unique situation. Finally, I've left plenty of time at the end for open discussion and wrap up so that we can come away with some valuable takeaways we can implement immediately. Since I want to make sure that we allocate plenty of time at the end for open discussion, I ask that you hold your questions until the very end of the presentation. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The problem. Now I submit to you that the fundamental problem is essentially a productivity and time management issue. How many of you can relate to this graphic that I put up here from the Dilbert comment? I bet many of us can. This graphic represents something that is often true of each of us at any given time. Often we find ourselves doing busy work that we know we shouldn't be doing at the expense of things we know that we should be doing instead. For some of you, it may be because you dread starting a project that you know will be a grind. For others of you, you may have great intentions but get distracted with the first thing you encounter during the day, such as a phone call or email of a seemingly urgent nature which takes you in an entirely different direction than you had planned to do that day. We've all been there, right? And for many of us, we take time out of our day to get on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. You get the picture. We say, oh, I'm just going to spend only a few minutes to send out this tweet, check responses, or something along those lines. What happens is that we end up being distracted for much longer than intended, again, getting nothing much done of value. And I can go on and on and on. And the result of these things leads to stress, anxiety, feelings of being trapped, feeling out of control of the situation, you name it, as we all have been there. You with me? Well, I, too, am not immune to all these common situations. In fact, I still struggle in some areas, and so I am continuously working on myself. I consider myself a continuous work in progress when it comes to this kind of stuff. What helped me on the road to doing better is understanding this key concept. We shouldn't confuse activity with productivity. Now we may be doing great things and we may be truly helping others and well you get the picture, but we may be busy doing the wrong things and not getting any important stuff done. To that extent, being active does not equal being productive. As a result, we are not being good stewards of our time. Fortunately, we can learn how to manage our time wisely and become productive with a little planning and adopting some habits and tools to help us stay on course. Ready? Let's go ahead and go into the meat of what we're talking about today. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.